Well, have you ever tried to nest a multi-reference field inside of a blog post card that was fully clickable? I know that I struggled with this in the past and I tried all kinds of different workarounds, but today I have a super easy solution for you in how you can nest a multi-reference field inside of a blog post card while making the entire card clickable. If we haven't met before, my name is Casey. I run an agency, CL Creative, and I'm teaching you Webflow and web design one video at a time here on YouTube. And so let's get into today's video. All right, so here we are in the computer, and this is just a, a blog post section that I have for you know my my blog post on my website. And right now, I have a category list on or in this blog card, but it's only a single category list, right? I want to be able to list out multiple because I'm doing web flow and web design, and I want to be able to reference multiple categories for each one of my blog posts, and I want to showcase that here on the blog card when people see that so they would know what they're getting. Now, if you have five categories or less, you can do this natively with Webflow. If you need to add in more than five categories, then I would recommend FinSuite's CMS Nest. Now, we're going to use the native Webflow because I just don't really have that many more categories that I need to add in on this particular card, but there may be instances where that takes place and you would need to use CMS Nest. We're not going to get into that on this video. We're going native with Webflow. So I've already set this up. If we go and we look at the blog post CMS and we click into here, you notice that I've already got a multi-reference field in there and I've already gone ahead and added in you know, two separate fields. Uh, also still have my regular categories field here as well but again we're going to update that so we go back over to the blog post and you might just think well easy enough let me go ahead and add in a collection list here and we should be able to connect that up and we'll see those extra fields that i have added in so let's go ahead and try that if you press command e this is just a quick shortcut command e is going to bring up the search bar and then you can begin typing in whatever it is that you want in this instance we want another collection list so i'm going to click on the collection list but look what it says collection list wrapper cannot be placed in a link and that's because the wrapper that is wrapping this entire card to make this entire card clickable is a link block that is linked to the current blog post. And that's exactly how I want it to be set up. But again, we will want to be able to put in another collection list. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we need to do in this particular instance is we need to remove this link block. Now, we're not going to rem remove the entire item wrapper because it's going to break my design so if you have your item wrapper set up like this one of the things that you can do is just right click and say convert to div block so now this is a div block so what can we do now well now we should be able to put in our collection list and just to do it the other way i can click on the plus over here and click on add uh, the collection list from the cms section and we notice it allows us to add our collection list. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect that to my blog post fields, categories, multi-reference field. Now within this collection list, I need to make sure that I add in a field in order to be able to pull in the text. So what I'm going to do is command E and I'm going to type in and add in a text block. So I have my text block there. I'm going to get my text from the CMS collection. I'm going to get it from the name and this is pulling from the categories portion. So now I have design and web flow. Now I like the design of this, you know, categories that I already have. I want it to look exactly the same. I just want to be able to add in extra categories. So I'm going to utilize the same class. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on class. I'm going to copy that class. You can just click on it and copy it. Then I'm going to go down here to my text block and I'm going to paste in that class and click enter. So now I have, you know, the class that I actually actually need here. So what I can do is I can take this and I can move this up here and get rid of our old category because we don't need that anymore. We have two. These don't look great in the way that they have been styled. And so one of the things that I can do in order to style these better is to open this up. I'm going to select the list because it is actually what's wrapping these this item, if you will. And I'm going to 
use Flexbox to do that. So I click on Flexbox and the default is horizontal, but you notice there's not any spacing between them. That doesn't look so great. And one of the recommendations I have, instead of going into the actual item, into this blog post category and trying to add in some margin and things like that, is just to utilize the gap, which is built into Flexbox. So go ahead and I'm going to do 0.5 rim. I use rim, but essentially this is uh, eight pixels. So we could just as easily put eight pixels here. I would suggest to use rims. Uh, more on that on another video, but for now, that's what we did. Now, notice, look, it has created our gap for us. Great. We are moving in the right direction here. So one of the things that we need to do now, though, is make this card clickable. So I have my nested collection list. I have less than five categories, so I'm able to use native Webflow collection list and nest that inside of here. But if you notice, the card is not clickable. It's not going to any of the blog posts. And you're thinking, well, great. I'm able to nest my collection list, but I need the entire card to be clickable. What do I do at this point? Well, one of the things that you need to do first is you need to make sure that your blog post item wrapper is position relative. Then what you can do is close these up, click on blog post item wrapper, and then we're going to do command E. We're going to, we're going to add in a link block. Okay. And this is going to show up at the bottom down here. Now we want this link block to link to the blog post. So we're going to click on the CMS portion. We're going to click on the collection page and we're going to choose current blog post because we want it to link to the current blog post. So we choose that. Okay, great. Now, if we were to click on this link block here, it would take us to our blog post, but we don't want to just have like some random link block at the bottom of our card. We don't necessarily want to put a, you know, read more uh, sign in here. We want this entire card to be clickable because this is what people are used to on the modern web. How do we make this entire card clickable? Well, it's super easy. All you need to do is click on the link block and we're going to use position absolute. So click on position. We're going to click on absolute. And if you notice this box moved up here to the top left of my card, that's one, that's the start. And the reason that it moved up here and stopped at this point is because this blog post item wrapper is position relative. So anytime, what, what essentially what is happening is whenever you make something absolute, it's going to be looking up the list to see which container is position relative. And it's going to stop there. And in this situation, it stops right where we want it because we made our blog post item wrapper, which is wrapping the entire blog post. We made this position relative, but it's still not how we want it, right? Like somebody could click in the top left corner of the blog post card and it would go to the blog post. Not what we want. We want to be able to click on the entire card. Well, that's super simple. All you need to do is come back over to the position portion of our CSS styling area over here, and you want to click on the very end one, which is absolute, and we're going to make this full. Now, when it's full, you notice that it jumped down really quickly. Let me show you that again. Here's kind of the default over here in the top left, and we click full, and it jumps down here. So now this entire card is clickable. The entire card has a link block that is covering it. And you can't click into the card or do anything like that. So if you wanted to be able to edit any of this text, you would have to make this hidden. So one of the ways that I do that is I just create a combo class of hide. And right there, you see that it's hidden. So now I'm able to click in and work with the text or change something with inside of this card. And when I'm done editing the actual card, what I do is I just go back up here to my blog post item wrapper and uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. We go back to the link block that was the uh, position absolute and I remove the combo class of hide 
So now it's back over the entire card again, and it makes the entire card clickable. So we have a clickable card with a multi-reference field in there, nested CMS collections. We click on that, and indeed, it takes you to a blog post that I wrote. Well, hopefully you got some value out of this video as we learn how to nest multiple collection lists together in one blog post, as well as how to make the entire blog card clickable. If you got some value out of this video, would you smash that like button for me, as well as would you leave down in the comments how you're going to be utilizing this on your next project, or if you're going to go ahead and implement this today, let me know. Maybe even put a link to your website. I'd love to see how you're utilizing some of these things that I'm teaching here on YouTube. And if you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos every single week on Webflow and web design, teaching you how to Webflow, how to do web design, one video at a time here on YouTube. And leave a comment down below. Tell me, you know, what video do you want me to make next? What do you want to learn? What are you struggling with? What uh, kind of tips and tricks do you want in Webflow? And I'll try to make that video for you. Until next time.